Hi, uh, time to look at stocks. So, so this is oil um, being a very flat, very sideways. Let's look at Vodafone is just holding up there. Nice run up. Now once we broke out of this, this V pattern here, uh, gapped up and did very, very nicely. Rolls has been doing well. Uh, that's a lovely pattern. Smack into resistance. And we've been up here a few times. Maybe it's time to break through. Let's see. That's, that's a massive wall to get through. So let's just see what happens. If you're not in it, um, you can buy high, try and get 11.85. But uh, you are buying high. All these, you know, stock, they're very liquid, strong stock like this could be just trading in this range. We could, um, I know we've got better benefit of hindsight, but this is definitely you know, struggling up here. This was the summer, so you know, seasonally, I would expect weakness as you come into you know out of out of the summer and into the autumn. And then you tend to get, make the decision up around about this time tends to be um, you know, the, the signal for the coming months into the report season. So you know, certainly this stock is, is performing well on that basis. Domino Pizzas, it looked good. Um, you know, I, I have to say this is very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. We, we come out of this here. Sorry, I meant to do that higher. If that's a descending triangle, this is coming potentially coming all the way back down to this level here. So if you're in that one, be careful and manage your trade. It's certainly holding, but um, not showing uh, a lot of great signals. Barkers have been watching. Now that is a reversal pattern. We close above 260 this week, and Barkers could do well. But again, come out of that. That's a descending triangle. This this could have further to go. But short term, that is actually, I know, I, I take that back. I am still somewhat nervous on this because until we get out of that box, I would not be comp uh, confident predicting where that may or may not go. Um, BG was very high, and that's coming off. And the chartered is okay, not great. So we have these dips are getting bought. But so we're in an apex here. Uh, at some stage we are gonna get a decision. Whichever way we come out of that area there is gonna be that decision. BP see some profit taking up there. Had a decent pop. We've got a massive gap. You can see the pattern down there. Um, it could do. It could, it could drop to 460. That certainly got hit a lot of. I know you can't see the chart too clearly, but you know, that's a lot of resistance up there. And there's the support. So as long as we don't start closing under 460, I think that one will get bought. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, Tate has been, has been good. Yeah, that's had a good close on Friday. Lovely reversal bar uh, set up down here off this 38.2%. Um, saw some profit taking at resistance at 800, naturally enough. But we closed, we came down to 770, which is another key pivot level. We're closing above the 8. So that is a buy at 795. Let's see if we can get to 830 and beyond. Sage, let me put, let me, um, is okay. Not, not brilliant, but it's holding up. Ocado, 
is struggling up there. It's holding up okay. Not, not a great one. Now it's had that run. Not great. Uh, this is mangrove. I keep, you know, I am actually in this. Uh, you know, we're in this massive box. We are shuffling around. Um, if we are going to pop up, you know, I'd really want to see this hold now. Start closing underneath this level here, and I get concerned. That's about 83, 84. Uh, we close above 80, you know, this 87, 90 level, and I think that could pop and see a retracement to potentially close that gap. So I like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still holding on to that one and just managing that. And let's look at some of these. Circo, not great. Eshaw. Uh, I think this is this could be time to get into this one. New low, close above next day. That is a good setup because if that. That holds that and closes higher. I think we could at least see 250 quite soon, and this could be a nice W pattern. However, we are vulnerable. You know, fall out of this area here, and that's toast, short term toast. But I do like the way that's trying to bottom. And US stocks. Uh, eBay, this is an, you know, it's another example like rolls of a good liquid stock where you should buy the lows and sell the highs and just get out. I will keep some on the table, take half off and see if that breaks. Had one, two, three, four touches which have failed. That one didn't quite get there. Is that going to go next? I don't know. Because <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five touches here. Not a good one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, that's Lynn. Okay, not great. Google is holding up okay. Goldman's. I, I like Goldman's. Uh, Massive box. I like the way we are seeing these lows get bought. Next time we come up here, then you know, that, that could get up, get up to two to two hundred. Um, Facebook got hit with the Twitter IPO. Messy chart, very messy chart. Sit tight. I, I want to buy that lower, around about the 400 mark if, if I see it. Blackberry, no, looks ugly. It's too risky. That's too risky for me. Bank of America had a good pop. This is a nice buy. Very very nice buy. 140. If you can see it, you may only see 14.25. Okay, I'll uh, leave it there. I will be doing a proper scan on Monday and watching to see how the indices are pan panning out and then I will uh, think about more positions in the early part of the week. Alright, hope that helps and have a good time.